Welcome to Excel Magic Trick 1863. And in last video, we had a great question and we created a half year summary pivot table. And below in the comments, Excel Lambda says, hey, guess what? We can do the same thing with group by or the pivot by function. Now check this out. This is the formula we created last video. In the if logical test, we said, hey, is the month greater than six? If it is, we need a date attribute to represent the second half of the year. There it is. There's the first half. And then this if, we join to year. That is the attribute we added as a helper column. And then we made a pivot table. Well, we can use the exact same formula. I'm going to highlight, Control C, Escape. And that will be our starting point for group by. F2, Control V. We need not the relative cell reference for table formula nomenclature. We need the whole column, whole column. And now when I hit Enter, well, that's a column that has exactly the same height as this. And that's the first column. F2 will put in group by. All right, those are the row fields that the function will create the unique list from. Comma values, well, we need invoice amount, comma, and the function is sum. And Control Enter, that is it. Now, anytime you do a group by or pivot by function, it doesn't have automatic formatting. But remember, the benefit is when we add data, instantly updates. And we'll add some data in just a moment. But let's add some conditional formatting. I'm going to highlight enough rows below to accommodate any new data. Home, conditional formatting, new rule. And there's a great built-in feature. Format only cells that contain no blanks. And then I want to go to Format, and we'll just add a border. You can add whatever you want. This is going to go to every single cell. Click OK, click OK. But I want to add some bold to the last line. And let's highlight, oh, you know what? I lost the exact range for that conditional formatting. Here's a great trick to find it. You hit the F5 key to go to, then special, then click conditional formatting. I want the same. And remember, go to goes to and highlights everything. So when I click OK, I actually use that feature all the time to find my conditional formatting. Now I want to add some bold and the same color blue here for the total row. And I want it to be dynamic. So when it expands, the formatting will be down here. Now notice I highlighted in the active cell is in the upper left corner, Alt-H-L-N. This time, however, we need to use a formula. And with dynamic spilled array formulas, we don't have to use mixed cell references as often anymore. But this is one of the situations where you do. Anytime you have conditional formatting, you want to conditionally format the whole row, well, you have to use mixed cell references. Now I'm going to click in this cell right here. And notice I need, when the conditional formatting formula copies down, I need to move so it can see total. But when it copies over to the next row, it needs to be locked on that K. So down here, I hit the F4 key, 1, 2, lock the column reference K, but not the row reference 4. And then you say, when that's equal to total. And that formula will be copied down and over in memory. Format, I'm going to do fill, that color right there. And under font, I want bold, and I love this double underline. Click OK, click OK. And this is static at the top, so I'm just going to add the blue, and I already have bold there. Now, we'll come back and test this and add new data. But let's try pivot by. Actually, I'm going to hide this. Right click Hide. Come over here, and I want the same exact formula for row fields, Control C, Escape, equals pivot by. And we have row and column, so I'm going to Control V. And then instead of an ampersand and quotes and a comma, I'm going to get rid of that, comma. Now I have year in the row and the date attribute for half of the year in the column. Come to the end, comma, values. Well, there they are, comma. 
And the function, well, we'll do some close parentheses and enter. And I already added some conditional formatting to that. Now let's come down and test. This is why formulas are so amazing. And really, formulas are the only Microsoft feature that updates instantly. Now I actually hit these. Right click, unhide. Control asterisk on the number pad to highlight everything. Control C, Control V. Notice the helper column copies down. And wow, that updates instantly, and so does this. Of course, it's not a big hassle to right click refresh and get that to update also. But formulas, group by, and pivot by, oh, what a joy in the Excel worksheet. All right, thanks, Excel Lambda, and we'll see you next Excel magic trick.